Welcome surfers, another surfboard review here at boardshop.co.uk. Today it's the Lost Sabotage. Um, not named after the Beastie Boys song sadly, but named after Taj Burrows, a very famous surfer. So <clears throat> Taj has been surfing for Lost for years, he's good friends with Matt Barlos and as he ages and gets fatter, drinks more beer, has more kids, he needs a bit more volume and he needs a board that's a bit more forgiving. And you've seen the beach buggy, uh, et cetera, et cetera, in the past. This is the next step in the, in the development of Taj's middle-age board quiver, I should think. Um, so the Sabotage, what waves is it for? Well, they'd like you to think that it's for waist-high onshore uh, wittering, but actually it's not. It's for better waves than that. It'll handle real size, but it needs waves probably chest high for the average guy with a bit of push to make it work. <clears throat> it won't get going in onshore rubbish. It just, you know, mush, it just won't. So um, you don't have to be the best surfer in the world to surf it, but you have to size it accordingly. Um, so I would look at the uh, probably 6 so The 510 is 29 litres, which is fair enough for a 510 but for most guys in heavy winter wetsuits and what have you of 75 kilos or so you're going to need a little bit more volume than that to get the thing going but let's have a little spin around it um, <coughs> as always Matt Barlos likes to put his volume down the spine of the board to help with paddling um, <coughs> relatively low entry rocker that's to help you paddling middle aged man paddling get you in and carry speed there's quite a bit of lift in the tail to give you the performance but what he's done is he's kept a bit of thickness in the tail, he's kept some volume under your back foot so again it will carry speed. Um, <coughs> the feedback we've had from the board um, is that it takes off smoothly and there's enough rocker in the nose to stop you catching and the, but the most important thing is that you don't have to pull back you know, thinking you're going to catch a rail or bury a nose, you can really push the board hard in chunky surf. There's a very shallow concave running into a very shallow double concave through the fins just to give you that little bit of lift to help you push into turns. And the tail, as you can see, is pulled in quite hard, but it's pulled in quite late. So <clears throat> that keeps some volume on your back foot. And that's part of what allows you to really push the board hard off the back foot without it sliding or catching a rail. So the sabotage in the hands of the right surfer is a really, really good option. If you're a decent surfer and you're looking for one board to cover everything uh, above your groveler, right up to high performance, um, it's a good option. It'd be a great travel board to go to Indo or Maldives or Mentz or whatever, because um, it's got all the performance you need, but it's got that forgiving kind of edge to it. One guy um, who just bought one who loved it, went from a six foot phantom Paisel Phantom, which he found a bit dull and a bit um, grovelerish, and he went to one of these <coughs> for surfing the better days in his home break, and he absolutely loves it. And the feedback he gave us was, um, was very pinpoint, very accurate, that you can drive it really hard, and it's still got enough elements of <coughs> hybrid to help you out in poorer sections and to get you catching waves, but it's got that performance that you can really thrash the board around, <coughs> and it'll match you step for step, it won't let you down. So, there we are, the Sabotage from Taj Burrow, Matt Barlos at Lost. <coughs> to sum up what I just said, watch the video again, it's probably the best bet. Um, you can trade your board against it, you can buy an interest free credit, come and see us at the showroom, all those things, all the usual options. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, subscribe to our channel please.